you can see that it's also now kind of elongated. It's still tied to the data grid. So we'll want to make a few more adjustments to make that look a little better. So in our horizontal alignment, we'll change that to left. It's now connected. It's tied to the left-hand side. But you'll notice that within the page, it's not really showing any information. So all I need to do is actually go back to my data sources, grab my customer data grid, and just drag and drop that onto my data pager. As I drag and drop it onto the data pager, you'll notice that now I have this of one. So this is telling me that it's now connected. However, there is one last thing we need to do. So we've added this data pager, we've combined it to our grid. However, we need to update our query so that way it properly knows how to return information. So there is a, a few things that I'll actually need to do for that one. So I'm going to go back to my Northwind service. Let me, be. Let me open that up. And you can see here that we actually have uh, get customers. And with get customers, I actually want to make an addition. What I want to be able to do is I want to get customers based on a query. And actually for this one here, let me uh, delete that one. So we've actually uh, changed our get customers at this point. So now that we've uh, added that, let's uh, run this one more time. We can now see that we have our data grid combined with our data pager. I could scroll through. Oh, bring me on page by page. The other thing I could do as well is let's say I want to get people by country. I could just select on that. It's now ordered by country alphabetically. And you can see as I scroll through that I'm getting all the different uh, countries. And all this was done by simply just choosing kind of our data sources, dragging them on, getting the right controls, and adding that as well. So that's it for part one of this session. Uh, please join me for part two where we'll actually go on and we'll extend this application that much further. Thanks.